Gucci, come here. So cute. Good morning. It is me. Currently 8.34 a.m. It's finals week. into the vlog here is a word from our sponsor thank you so much to belief for sponsoring today's video if you guys are unfamiliar with belief they are a skincare brand that is sold in places like sephora and ulta they are known for specifically using korean skin science and true herbs as the main ingredients in their skincare products so i love that they're very natural and that there's a legitimate science behind why they formulate their products the way that they do and they've put a lot of research and thought into that one of the most popular products that belief sells if not the most popular is the True Cream Aqua Balm. People literally rave about it in the reviews. Belief has created a limited edition kind of spin-off of that product and it is the True Cream Aqua Balm Aloe Vera. It has the same hydration and texture as the original True Cream Aqua Balm, but this one is infused with aloe vera, which especially since summer is basically upon us, it is perfect because, you know, if you're gonna be out in the sun and your face is gonna get burnt, aloe is your best friend over the summer, so to have it infused in a moisturizer is amazing. Personally, I love this stuff. I love how it feels. It has a very silky, smooth texture. It absorbs really quickly into your skin, which is like, great. It doesn't leave any oily feeling or residue, which is really important. It feels really nice on the skin. It's very hydrating and it has cooling and soothing properties. So like I said, perfect for summer and just really perfect for all the time because you always want your face to feel hydrated and healthy. I love it. It's going to be a staple this summer and it is limited edition. So if you guys want to check it out, be sure to click the link in my description and and you can go see for yourself what all the hype is about. So again, thank you so much to Belief for sponsoring today's video and back to the vlog. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad to feature. The beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her You see her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder what she hides Under her disguise Yeah, 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 yeah And all the girls around the world They wanna be her And all the dudes are trying to score Like it's fever She lives a double I think I may have talked about this a little bit in a previous video, but this presentation was for my branding class and we basically had to do a complete rebrand of a local nonprofit and this presentation was basically us presenting it to their entire executive board. So it was a little bit stressful, but honestly, a really, really good experience to have and I loved that class. So God bless. Oh, hello guys. It is many hours a nap and way too many games of Yahtzee later. It is now 3.48 p.m. Did I ever actually start this video and say what's up you guys? No, I didn't. Well, better late than never. What's up you guys? It's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. Anyway, this is going to be my finals week in my life. I only have three days of finals. So today is a final, my final presentation. Check that off. My presentation, I think went really well. They were really excited about the logos and the color palette that I came up with. So that's really good. And then after that, I just had to upload all of my like logos and other project material to Google Drive so that the company could have those. So I finished all of that. So now I am completely done with three out of the five classes that I have this semester. The other two that I'm done with, I finished last week because I had my final project in the one class and it was the video project. He hasn't graded it by the way yet. I'm gonna keep you guys updated. A lot of you guys have been asking, which I think is adorable. You guys wanna know what he said about my video, but he hasn't graded them yet. But that was the last thing I had to do for that class. And then there is a final in that class, but it's optional if you got above a C on the first two exams and I got A's on the first two exams so I'm not taking it obviously like why would I do that and then the other class I had my last mini essay to write I was due last week like last Tuesday and then that was the last thing I had for that class and I'm exempt from the final in that class because I have an A so I don't have to take it that leaves me with two classes left tomorrow Tuesday I have my finance final at 8 a.m. Which would make me feel a lot more uncomfortable, 
but I actually did the math earlier and I figured out that in order to end my class with an A, I have to get a 57% on the final. So as long as I get above a 57, I will end with an A. So that really just makes me feel a lot better and takes tons of pressure off. I mean, I still need to study. I think that I'm gonna go print out the practice exam that my professor put online after this. And then Wednesday I have my PR final at like 3 p.m. That is it. That is the end of my junior year and I'm so freaking excited. I literally can't even explain how excited I am for this to be over, especially because I don't have motivation like at all. I was planning on talking to you guys right after I finished the presentation, but then I like got caught up in putting this stuff on the Google Drive and then I was so tired all of a sudden. So I took a nap for an hour and a half in my mom's room with my cat. Today, I'm so excited because later on, my mom and I always like to watch any Bachelor show because we love chaotic television. We've been watching the Bachelor Listen to Your Heart thing and to be honest, like if we weren't in quarantine with nothing else to watch, I don't think we would be watching it right now, but we have nothing else to do. So that's our Monday night entertainment. So I'm actually super excited for that. That comes on at eight. Other than that, literally all I have to do today is study for tomorrow. Maybe I will make a little to-do list. I'll probably make it for the week, not like day by day, because to be honest, like, I don't really have that many tasks to complete each day this week. So I don't know what the point of that would be. I do have to film actually something for Garnier today. I think now I'm gonna make a little to-do list in my little pretty notebook that Nicole got me. I actually am really excited. I ordered washi tape on Amazon and my plan is to kind of put it on these pages where the Sharpie bleeds through so that there's like cute like decorative tape there and it also covers the Sharpie dots on the other side. I just think that that's gonna look cute and then I can go back through and like use these pages too. I don't know, so that's coming Wednesday. I'm really excited about it. All right, so let's do this really quick. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna go print out the finance practice final and we can get started on studying. <laughs> It is 7 a.m. Finance final is at 8 and I am about to cram. Look up from your telescope, take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait no more. Lay me down behind the moon, tell me you'll be on the soon. I don't wanna wait no more. We could be dancing in the stars. So it's several hours later and yeah, I'm aware that I wear this sweatshirt and the gray Princeton one in pretty much every video I promise you that I wash them. They're just my favorite ones and honestly at this point I'm in no position to be wearing anything that I don't truly enjoy wearing because why would I do that? Okay, so it is currently 4 o'clock p.m. I just made some chicken nuggets and I thought I would sit down and update you guys So the last you saw me I took a shower after my finance final I literally finished that test in like an hour we had two hours to do it. I don't know. I just I finished it. I don't know what I got I don't know when he's gonna put the grades in after I took my exam Which by the way submitting that exam was like one of the best feelings I've ever felt in my life that class stressed me out to the absolute max and I'm just really happy that I finished it. I know I passed the class. I don't know what my final grade is yet. Cheers to that I just felt this insane weight lifted off my shoulders since then I showered and that's really it. I watched a couple YouTube videos. I took a nap. I have been doing nothing. And you know what? That's okay because I deserve to do nothing for a little 
after surviving that class. I have one more final tomorrow at 3 p.m. So I'm just gonna study like before it. The final is open book, open note, open everything. So I'm just gonna kind of go through the study guide and read over some stuff, but I'm not gonna like intensely study because it is open book, open note, open whatever. So I'll be fine. So that's from three to five tomorrow. And then that's it. That's the last thing I have to do. I'm literally not doing anything for the rest of the day other than potentially starting to edit this video. I am so close to being done. I can literally smell the ending of this semester. I think I'm gonna revisit my to-do list that I made yesterday. God, I have shit everywhere. And let's see what we can check off. Studied for my finance final yesterday, checking that off. I filmed the Garnier clips, took my finance final, vlogged today, kind of. So now this is everything we've done so far and we only have three things left. Things are looking up. Yeah, that's my update for now. I will talk to you guys later. Okay, <laughs> the universe is so weird. I literally just said, Talk to you guys later. Turned off the camera. And the second I turned off the camera, I got an email that my final was graded. My finance final. So we're gonna look at this together. I don't want to look at this, bro. I'm really panicking. Moment of truth. <sighs> yes. God bless. I got a 93. I just want to say thank you not only to God, but to Jesus. I just want to say thank you so much, not only to God, but to Jesus. Check if any of my other grades have been posted. Yeah, no, no more grades other than that were in there. So glad we could experience that together. I'm gonna go and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, this is like starting to creep me out, but another grade just came in. After I talked about it, we're gonna look at it together. Am I psychic? That's a Raven has been really quiet. Well, we got a 95.5, which is great. So that's all I'm gonna say. Amazing. Okay, thanks for being here for grade reveal part two. Good morning. It's Wednesday. Actually, good afternoon. It's 12 19 p.m. <laughs> today is actually kind of like my Friday because my last final is today. So after today, I'm done with my junior year and I am so excited. I actually let myself sleep in today because I was just proud of myself for finishing my finance class with an A. So I slept in until like 10 30, which is unheard of. So I got a little bit of a late start, but that's okay. I got myself ready today because I don't know. I'm just having, I feel good vibes today. It is so beautiful outside. It is sunny and 65, my favorite weather. I decided to throw some makeup on. My last final is at 3 p.m. It is my intro to PR final. The final is open note, open book, open internet, open whatever. And I wouldn't be worried about it because I feel like I have a good enough enough grass on like the things we've learned that I would be fine just looking at my notes and whatever but there's a hundred questions on this final a hundred what I've decided to do is print out the study guide that my professor posted online. This is basically just like a list of topics and it's broken down by chapter. So what I wanna do right now is just go through my textbook and next to all of the topics, I'm gonna write down what page number I can find that on so that when it comes test time, if I don't know something or if I want to double check something that I can just flip to that page without having to like flip around and find it because that just like wastes a lot of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I think my strategy for this test is going to be since there are so many questions i think i'm going to go through and like everything that i know off the top of my head i'm going to answer first and then i'm going to go back through again and look stuff up that i wasn't completely sure about i feel like doing this is going to help me a lot because i know on the last exam that we had i mean they've been open note open books since we've done online classes but i feel like last time like i spent a lot of time flipping around and trying to find these page numbers so i'm just going to do that now after i'm done with that i got my tape today my washi tape that i ordered on amazon this is the roll of all the different patterns that i got after i'm done doing this with the study guide i'm gonna go into my little to-do list book and play around with the washi tape i'm super freaking excited about it god i like need more desk space i think that after i'm done school my dad and i are going to build a new desk together for me i mentioned the idea to him and he was very excited about it he loves to do woodworking stuff with me but he's very good at like construction he works in construction but he's very good at woodworking and stuff the area that i'm sitting in right now in my room he built i want to like design some type of layout of desk and then i think we're gonna build it together and i really want to like revamp this area in my room my little like office space I'm really really excited about it so that's probably going to be a whole video of me redoing this that's besides the point but i am going to get to it and i'm going to flip through the textbook write down page numbers and then we'll go from there
bad. I'm a senior in college. I have no idea what I got on that exam. I took it online, but for some reason it didn't automatically grade it. So I have no idea what I got, but I it's out of my hands. It's out of my hands now. You know, it's, it's up to God now, not me. Now that that's over. I actually haven't started editing yet, but I have a good reason. You know how I was talking about earlier how I wanted to maybe like redo my little bedroom office area? Once I started thinking about that, I get really excited about it and then I start doing a bunch of research and trying to put together ideas. So that's what I did after I filled out this study guide with the page numbers, which by the way was a very helpful tactic. I'm glad I did that. I did some measuring of the area put together a google doc with some inspiration pictures that i want to print out and put in this little notebook and i also added some stuff to my cart on amazon i love doing stuff like this with like remodeling and i love fixer upper and joanna Gaines. it's like i'm obsessed with interior design so i'm really excited to start a new project and i'm definitely going to be doing a video for this like why wouldn't i that I, those are my favorite types of videos to make i can't even like understand the fact that i won't have school work like i can't comprehend it right now the fact that i don't have schoolwork for the next like three months i'm in shock hello it's me here to end this video because i never filmed an outro it's the next day and i'm editing right now so i wanted to hop on here and wrap this up why does this happen every time I try to film? Anywho, so that was it for my finals week vlog. I mean, it was only three days, but technically still finals week, I guess. I can't believe I'm gonna be a senior. Well, I technically am, I guess, as of now. That's crazy. You guys have literally been here since I was a freshman. It's, it just blows my mind to think about the fact that I only have one year left in college, but yeah. So that's it for today's video. That is it for my junior year of college vlogs. We will pick back up the college vlogs again in the fall when I start my senior year. Until then, I'm really excited for this summer. I feel like I have a lot that I want to do and I'm just really excited to explore and be creative with my videos and do stuff that I really love. So stay tuned for all of that. And I think that's all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you stay until this point in the video, comment down below, I'm a real one because you're a real one. If you wanna see more videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I post a new video every single Sunday. And if you forget that I post a new video every single Sunday, or if I can't post exactly at my normal time, which is 3 p.m. Eastern, make sure to turn on my post notifications so you get notified exactly when I post a new video. And yeah, I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.